Hey everybody, welcome to the Blue Collar Beer Gentlemen. I'm Topher. I started this channel because I'm a fan of craft beer, but I'm also on a limited budget. And I wanted to demonstrate it was possible to enjoy good quality beers without having to break the bank. So I'm always looking for the best deal. And I think I found another good one from my friends at Belmont Station, located at 4500 Southeast Stark here in Portland, Oregon. Uh, this is the Fremont Dark Star Imperial Oatmeal Stout. I paid $2.49 for this 12 ounce can. Real quick notes about the reviewing community. 17 of my friends on Untapped have given this a cumulative score of 4.02. 207, um, excuse me, 27,000 of us have given it a cumulative score of 3.97. Beer Advocate has had 416 rankings with an average score of 4.08, with an overall score of 91, which on their rankings is outstanding. Uh, Fremont Brewing is located in Seattle. I honestly thought I'd had a beer from them before, but I went through and checked. I have not. They are Independent Craft uh, Brewers Association. I want to show this. Maybe Nancy will be able to show the graphic. I don't know. But when you see the, uh, the beer bottle turned upside down with the word independent nice and clear on it, you know you are in fact drinking an independent craft brewer and not a faux craft brewer. Just because the label is there does not mean that you're drinking a macro beer. But when you see that label, you can feel confident that you are in fact drinking a good beer. I do not have a date of uh, bottling or uh, canning. I do not have a date of brewing. There's no date anywhere on here. It is an Imperial Stout. has an 8% ABV. Typically, Imperial Stouts come in between 8% and 12%. So this is actually on the lower end of the high end uh, scale. Imperial, of course, meaning that it's a higher uh, ABV than the standard. So this is... Uh, a standard stout would come in between about 6 and 8% on the ABV, and Imperial comes in between 8 and 12. And as I said, this has 8% 8, uh, 8 ABV, so it's on the lower end. According to Untapped, this has 50 IBUs. Typically, Imperial um, stouts come in between 50 and 90. Now, because it is oatmeal, uh, the oatmeals, oatmeal stouts tend to have a lower IBU. The, the oats try to, tend to pull the, uh, the hoppiness out of that. Real quick composition of the malt. We've got two row pale, roasted barley, C60, carafa 2, chocolate, flaked oats, and magnum. The only mention of hops is the Willamette hops. So since they're uh, using definitely uh, locally sourced hops, um, we'll just have to see how it is. I, as I said, I, I paid $2.49 for this 12 ounce can, which is a pretty good price. And I'm going to be using my Teku. Teku not only has a bulbous bottom, but it has a flared top, so it's perfect for any imperial beer. Let's crack this bad boy open. And let's see how it's pouring. Well, it has a very, very rich chocolate brown color. Uh, not quite black, but definitely, definitely a very dark brown, very dark chocolate. I've got a nice, nice thick head on this. Seems to be fairly persistent. I'm seeing some bubbles popping, but not too many. Uh, I'm going to describe this as medium low carbonation. As I look at the bottom of this, I'm seeing a couple of tiny bubbles floating from the bottom towards the top, but not a whole lot. That head is going absolutely nowhere. I mean, nowhere at all. It is staying right there, and it's creating some pretty decent lacing. It's not very often that a beer on Beer Advocate actually gets a score, an, an outstanding score. So I'm really kind of looking forward to this. Let's give this a quick beard wipe, see what I encounter. <sighs> maltiness, that's for sure. Lots and lots of maltiness and roastiness. Okay, there's the chocolate. Definitely picking up the chocolate on there. I'm not really so much picking up the oatmeal on the bouquet. That doesn't mean it's not going to come through on the tongue. It's just not not really coming through so much in the aroma. Mostly I'm getting uh, a sort of a toffee and a chocolate and even a little bit of a coffee. Um, so I guess a mocha and a toffee are the two predominant uh, scents that I'm getting from the bouquet. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start drinking. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, nice and creamy, very uh, very light alcohol burn despite the 8% ABV. I mean, almost no alcohol burn in the back of my throat. Really what I'm getting more is a sort of a baker's chocolate on the back end of the tongue. I'm going to describe this as, I'm going to say a medium low. Yeah, I'm going to stick with medium low. Uh, medium low, AB, um, medium low mouthfeel, not a, particularly, not a lot of spikiness to it. Uh, very soft and mellow. Let's see if I pour the rest of this in here. There's anything, if there are any flavors lurking at the bottom of the can that are only going to be com come out by pouring the bottom sediment into the glass. Let's see. Still not getting the oatmeal on the uh, bouquet. 
and honestly not not getting a whole lot of it uh, even on the on the tongue but this is a really good really rich flavored beer um, not overly complex but nice and strong uh, flavors that are coming through with great notes in the bouquet which are also adding to the flavor but it's uh, as I say I'm just I'm not getting the oatmeal which is kind of surprising to me. Uh, oatmeal stouts normally have that nice oatiness. I'm wondering if maybe the oats weren't roasted and perhaps that's where the roasty is coming from. There's a lot of roastiness to this in both bouquet and tongue. I gotta say this beer is worthy of a 4.0. Coming in a can it's gonna get that extra 0.25. So an overall score of 4.25 is what I'll be giving this on untapped. And once again I picked this up at Belmont Station, 4500 Southeast Start. Love that place. Nice guys, good prices, and each beer was individually priced, which I like a lot. Well guys, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other channel, Fat 50 and Running a Marathon, where you can watch me steadily changing from this into a runner's body sometime around my 50th birthday. And until next time, drink good beer and don't break the bank doing it. Cheers!